Greetings, and welcome to episode 20, part 2 of a two-part series entitled The Middle Path. Yesterday we were discussing sort of the vagaries of uh, explaining what the middle path is and how to apply it to your life or different reasons why you should apply it to your life but now I want to get into what it means spiritual more for, from a more spiritual standpoint and from the more energetic standpoint instead of good versus evil we're going to get into the positive versus negative all right so let's get started sit back relax and enjoy So, the middle path. I'm going to try and steer clear of the uh, complexities of the situation because we could get into every subtle nuance and how it pertains to every situation, but then that's going to eventually speak to the, the emotional detachment, and I'm not trying to get into that aspect because, as I said in the last video, there are extremes within everything. You can hardcore detach yourself and be middle path, or you can view it from the middle path and choose whether or not you're going to react to a situation without cutting yourself off emotionally from the situation. So, what I want to get into is more, more of a spiritual nature kind of thing, and uh, instead of situationally, we're going to be looking at energetically how uh, the view of the planet view of the self view of others view of the universe uh but i'm going to be using terms like god source uh soul shadow so it, it hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a, a better grasp of what I meant and it should draw in what I was trying to say in the in the previous video so the middle path or non-polarity or non-duality uh, the best way to just jump right in would be your view of God and the devil If the devil is God's shadow, that means that it's just one being. And you can't turn away from God or the goddess just because they do things you don't agree with. God would never, oh uh, yeah, it's in, if it's in us and we're made in that image and we are a slice of that hologram and it's in us, then it's in the hologram, it's in source, it's in God. So saying God would never, you're you're kind of disowning him for a second there. And only acknowledging his existence through good stuff, through good things. Well, why would God allow this to happen? Because shit happens. You take delight in doing shitty things sometimes. Why would you assume the universe doesn't have a sense of humor? <laughs> We get a good old chuckle when the door doesn't open and the person smashes their face up against it and it's all squished. Yeah, we get a chuckle out of that. How do you know God doesn't? Well, because God is all good. Yeah, but he didn't do anything wrong. You didn't open the door. He smashed your face. We all laughed, but if God laughs, he's an asshole? I don't think so. We just don't like the fact that he might be laughing at us. In particular. <laughs> You can, I'm going to be perfectly honest, viewing it the way I do, as you go to heaven, hell is there right there. But you're going to experience the heaven part because you, like I said, you lean more towards what feels good. I lean, I like to lean more towards balance. I don't want to cut anybody off. Certainly not God. How do you know that he didn't send that negativity to you to teach you something? It's still God. 
That means it is God. I don't care if it's another person. If he sent negativity into your life, that's God entering your life. For some reason on your journey, God decided that you were going to experience said negativity. Because it's a part of your journey that you needed to experience. For whatever reason. And in my opinion, I think that each one of us will keep coming back here until we have experienced everything there is to experience. Murder, being murdered, death in general, fighting in a war, being the cause of the war, like you're the, you're the person in charge this time. I believe that. Because how can you add to the overall project if you haven't experienced everything? You can't input a point of view on a situation you've never been part of. So we come and we experience everything. God would never do that. Yeah, I think he would. Because you're not learning if everything's cushy and sweet. We learn. We are at our best if you've noticed when shit's not going right. When things just aren't going well and things are going badly. That's when we learn the most. That's when we grow the most. That's when we have to try the hardest. Just like the seed coming up through the earth. That's when it has to try the hardest. God would never do that. He does it to every other creature, just where we're special somehow. In your own Bible, look what he did to his own chosen people. He sold them off as bond men and bond women. That's called slavery. <laughs> but you don't think that he'd give you a broken leg or kill your relatives? Just to have you on a particular path of experience? This is a school, people. Nobody's playing favorites, and I don't buy into the chosen people per se, as maybe they're just further along the path. And I, I'm starting to think that perhaps that that title was bestowed after the fact. But even if it wasn't, that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the middle path, non-duality. And the way I experience it, the way I learned it, there's no such thing as evil. But if there's no such thing as evil, there's likewise no such thing as good. You All you are left with is pleasant and unpleasant. You have to release those pleasant energies into the world. Yeah, do you know why it's so important to release pleasant energy into the world at this stage in our existence? Because there's so much negativity that we need every little scrap of positive energy just to balance it out. Because everyone chooses to see it as duality or polarized. There's good and there's bad. There's No, there just is. As soon as you start seeing that it just is, and you're not putting a label good or bad, good or evil, then you'll start seeing situations for what they are. Oh, the forest burnt down, that's horrible, but look at all the new growth. Half of the trees were half dead for some whatever reason, probably because of all the pollutants in the air. So the forest was going to die anyway, or that chunk of it. And so now, it, catching fire and being destroyed now clears the way for new growth. And that's not to say we went down and bulldozed a forest for oil or for the wood. That's to say the forest burned down. And it doesn't, it, people don't realize forests can burn down without any type of human intervention whatsoever. They showed, uh, I saw a documentary once where a plains fire was started in Africa because sunlight was reflecting through a, drew, a dew drop. And the dew drop magnified, like a magnifying glass, how you used to do the magnifying glass on the ants. Yeah, well, it did that to the grass and caught the grass on fire. So there doesn't even have to be a human there to start the fire. 
but because oh the trees and the animals it's a bad thing but the new growth what about the new growth isn't that a good thing so if you just don't judge the situation oh forest fire put out the fire so and so died smoke jumping but they did they died doing something they believed in something they loved everybody hopes for something like that everybody I would love to die doing something I believed in <coughs> that would be like the height of it wouldn't it don't you agree even the, even the slightest little bit but but let's break it down if you give it a you assign it a polarity and you split it down the middle we do it to everything we even do it to ourselves and that's why hum most human beings are going crazy because there comes a point where the negative aspects in yourself start taking issue with the fact that they're not getting any type of recognition because let's face it if you assign your shadow to the devil and you assign you assign your light to God you only give the rewards the compliments the credit you only give that to your goodness to the God side but when you were down there partying and fornicating, you weren't doing that in the sight of God, or at least you hope you weren't. That was your shadow there. The most fun you've ever had in your life, I can guarantee you, it was your shadow at work. But you're going to attribute all goodness to God. I'm sorry. When I'm having a blast, it's good. Even if it's my shadow at the forefront. The shadow is just as good a teacher. As the light. But because you separate the two. And try to convince yourself you don't have a shadow. That shadow eventually. Takes issue with that. And comes out whether you want it or not. Because you pay no attention to it. You try to ignore it. If I ignore it, it'll go away. The fact that you have to ignore it tells you that it's there. The fact that you have to pretend that it's not there tells you that it's there. Embrace it. It's a part of you. Accept it. It's a part of you. This is the key reason why nobody on this planet can love themselves. Because of their shadow. I love my shadow. Because some of the most fun times I've ever had was because of my shadow. Without which I probably would not have had half of, at least half of the fun I've had on this planet. And I'm never going to disown my shadow just because some people like to attribute it to the devil. But then when we break it all down, if you have a shadow and you're in God's image, then God has a shadow and that's what you call the devil then you're cutting off half of God and you're telling God I only accept half of you I only want half of what you have to offer what really God knows he'll never be rid of his shadow it's a part of him it's a part of all of us you need to find a way to come to terms with that and that's why I presented the middle path. Non-duality. Still do what you feel in your heart is the right thing to do. I'm not saying run off and do evil works. If it's not in you to stab the person, don't stab the person. If it's not in you to beat the person up, don't beat the person up. If it's not in you to yell at the person, don't yell at the person. But when you have occasion to be negative and you snap or you make your snide comments or you do something mean or what you perceive to be out of character don't hate yourself or get down on yourself that's just your other aspects coming to the fore and if you would incorporate every part of yourself as one being light dark good bad positive negative one 
being, it's already incorporated into your psyche. So then you're not viewing your snide remarks as something to punish yourself over. Because if you really feel that bad about it, just go apologize. This can't be overstated. Oh, she's bipolar. Why? Because she spent her whole life trying to separate herself from a shadow that's not ever going anywhere. If you have light, light casts shadows. If you have a shadow, there's a light somewhere casting that shadow. So you'll never be fully away from the light. Accept it. I don't care how evil you think you are. How bad you think you are. It is a part of you. If you found a way to do away with it, you've cut off half of your power. Half of your own personal power. And I said it in the previous video and I'll say it again. If you start your car, I don't care what kind of car you have, you go out and you start your car. Now pop the hood. If you pop off the positive cable, your car will shut off. If you pop off the negative cable, your car will shut off. It cannot run without both. You cannot exist without both. Get used to that idea. Let it sink in. And then become the middle path. Become non-duality. Become non-polarity. View it as one. There's one universe that we exist in. And I'm not touching base with different realities and different dimensions. We experience one. It takes effort to experience the other ones. So the one where, which we reside in at this moment is one. It is at one time, at, it is all at once, both positive and negative, both true and false. It's everything at once. It is not, however, two universes in one where we can choose to either live in the positive universe or the negative universe. It doesn't work that way. Well, focus on the good. No, don't focus on the good, because then you get all flustered if something negative happens. Focus on unity. Focus on non-polarity, non-duality. That's what you focus on. They say, well, you got to take the good with the bad. The same people say, focus on the good. No. Do what you said a minute ago. Take the good with the bad. As one. As one. That's not to say, oh, just suck it up. No, no, don't suck it. Just suck it up. Because there are things that you know in your heart that you can handle and deal with. Regardless of the fact if it's positive or negative. You know what you can take. It's not a negative thing to know your limitations. And limitations, they say, they say, oh, you're limitless. You are limitless. But the point in your journey that you are now, you're going to have certain limitations you haven't gotten around yet. And when you reach those, don't bemoan your situation. Just do something about it. And yes, muscling through it is an option. I found that when we muscle through a situation, we kind of push our limitations. And it makes us able to achieve more next time around. Like this, if a similar situation arises, we are better prepared to deal with it. So if we, instead of trying to avoid it or trying to find a way around it or even asking for help through it and we muscle through it ourselves, I've noticed that the next time you have a better idea of what to do. Even if it means asking for help or going around or whatever, you, you, you make a better decision next time. But it doesn't matter 
if you're viewing a situation as positive or negative, you still have to find a way through it because you just don't see it in a positive situation because it's pleasant. So in your mind, there's no outcome other than a pleasant outcome. But how many times have you been in a pleasant situation and maybe made the wrong joke at the wrong time and turned a pleasant situation into a negative situation? So you still have to be mindful of your decision-making process even within a positive situation. Or if you just view it from the middle path, yes, I'm enjoying this. Maybe you're not so emotional because I noticed that when someone has an off-color joke at an off time or, or just, a, just a horrible joke at a bad time, your emotions are in the right place, but they're exaggerated because you're not controlling them because you're in the you're in the vibe that very very good vibe of what you perceive to be a very very good situation. So even that can be a bad thing. So you don't want to you don't want to go to one extreme or the next. I'm not saying you got to stay dead center or wrong. I'm just saying okay, you have the one extreme, you have the other extreme. Stay in a spectrum within the center. Within the center. Don't go too far one way or the other. Because we're going to pass judgment on a situation. That's just, that's, we're going to. Until we learn not to. And then we're going to act according to that judgment. So I'm just saying be a little more discerning. Be a little more careful. Because what you see as a bad thing might not be a bad thing. It might only be a bad thing because you perceived it as such. It might only be a good thing because you perceived it as such. Six black men killed. Those black people's families, they think it's, 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 it's a travesty. But there's some racists over here that think it's funny. That alone tells you that good and bad in the situation is based on the, the person observing the situation. And as the observer, I think that you're given an opportunity to control your reaction. Every situation gives you the opportunity to control your reaction. And speaking or seeing things from the middle path helps to control that reaction. It makes the fuse quite a bit longer before an emotional response will occur. Especially with yourself. And that's, in my opinion, that is the most important thing. I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to break it, break it all down what I just said in the past two videos. To this point right now. Hell with the situations. You work on you. Instead of beating yourself up every time something bad happens or every time you, you say something mean, or because you're not perfect. Yeah, no more of that. You are one being. You have both shadow and light at the same time. Just because you're experiencing one over the other doesn't mean the other isn't there. In other words, it's a bad situation and it's a bad day or whatever and, and you're not experiencing the good doesn't mean the good isn't there. You're just not seeing it. And just because everything's pleasant and you're just loving it and oh yeah, doesn't mean the bad isn't there. You're just not seeing it. So imagine if you became one being and you did non-duality. That doesn't mean you're going to enjoy the good less. And it doesn't mean you're going to plunge into darkness like it feels good. It just means you are more stable in that situation. You are more stable in that situation. And it concern and since the situation I'm talking about right now is your relationship to yourself, think about that for a minute. Imagine being more stable within yourself to your own existence. You're no longer viewing your looks or your flesh or your personality as a good or bad thing. There are things. Nothing more. Your polarities are, th it's just, it's in your imagination that they're separate. We are all in, I guess, we are all in a Schrodinger universe. We are both on and again off 
at the same time. And until you observe a good or bad situation, it stays that way. But as soon as it's good, poof, you're positive. And as soon as it's bad, poof, you're a negative. And if you do personally anything negative, you'll spend hours, days, weeks, months, years tearing yourself apart about it. But you won't sit around celebrating for days, weeks, months, years. You ch I helped the guy change his tire. You're not going to celebrate that for years and years. Why are you going to put yourself down for years and years? Likewise, you're not going to reach around and pat yourself on the back for being mean. Why are you going to reach around and pat yourself on the back for helping change that tire? Middle path. Feel good. Yeah, sure. Why not? Feel bad. Yeah, sure. Why not? But don't drown yourself in either. And I'm not talking about emotional extremism. That's a completely different conversation. What I'm trying to get at is you are one being. You are positive while at the same time negative. You carry light while at the same time shadow. Don't beat yourself up either way. Accept that you are a, a complete being and work to complete yourself instead of keeping yourself separated into polarity and duality. Emotional extreme is a side effect of that and we're not talking about the side effects so much as the actual peeling away of your perception of good and bad and how they apply to you and how that you don't even see that you apply it to you on a daily basis you probably apply it to yourself more than anything else and it's probably why you apply it to everything else is because you're applying it to yourself first and granted I'll give you that you were taught how to do it from birth we only accept you when you're good and you're gonna get a spanking when you're bad but there's no excuse to not undo that now that you know better we are not still those children getting a spanking Oi. <clears throat> we learn through experience and when we experience a spanking we experience that hey doing everything I can to not get a spanking even if it means lying hiding cheating whatever that's what we're gonna do because it's instilled in us from birth don't do anything wrong or at least don't get caught because we don't like you when you're negative hmm I love me shadow and all I love you shadow and all I love my kids shadow and all I think the most disturbing thing I found about my kids isn't the stuff they project out into the world and in in the in uh, in the form of behaviors but how they internalize and will destroy themselves with negativity so we altered the way we reprimand and punish them because of that because I don't want my kids internalizing because they spilled milk or because they broke a window I'm not going to have my child eventually commit suicide over material objects that can be replaced. Or anything. Grades. I tell you know what I tell my kids about grades? You only get F's if you're not trying, and that's a fact. You give 100%, and if your 100% is a D, I'm happy with that. The minute I told my kids that, one made principles list and the other one made honor roll because I took the burden the pressure off of them 100% is all I require if you're 100% if your 100% is a D that's still graduation it may not be college but it's graduation 
That's fine. I'm, and I'm fine with that. Because I don't need you carrying around that extra weight that, oh, they're going to be disappointed. Oh, they're going to be disappointed. I want you to know that I love you regardless. But that doesn't mean I don't want you to put forth the effort. I tell them, you'll never get in trouble for your grades. But you will get in trouble for just not doing the work. And even that's just our lecture. Depending on the infraction. Sometimes you lose your playtime or whatever. But we, we altered the way we punish because we saw that there was a problem in the internalization of the of how we punished we were punishing the way our parents punished us without giving any thought to how that affected us and when you sit down and think about it it didn't do you much good how is it doing them any good you say, well, yeah, it, it did a lot. Of, it didn't do any good. What did good was that they were there, and that you focused on the positive reinforcement because there was positive reinforcement when I was growing up. It just seemed like there was more negative reinforcement, and there was a lot of negative reinforcement, and I internalized a lot of that. I don't want my kids to have to go through that. I'm cutting that step out of their journey. So when they go on and say they, they, they join a spiritual path and they're working on their spirit, that's one less thing they have to tear down because I didn't build it up in them. I want them to know from this point in their life, you are a whole person. You are a whole being with the good, with the bad, at the same time, and I love you through and through, the positive, the negative, I love you. Not your actions. If you're sitting there sleeping, I love you. And even while you're sleeping, you're still good and at the same time bad. You're still positive and at the same time negative. You're still light and at the same time shadow, and I love you. So that just proves it's not your actions why I love you. And you're going to get up, you're going to wake up, and you're going to break my window, and you're going to paint on the wall and put marker on my chairs, and I'm still going to love you. But that's also it's coming from in here. I'm not just loving you because you exist. I'm loving you because I love me, and I'm letting you share that I love me for all my flaws and I love you the same way. So, I hope this explains what I was trying to explain in the last video. I, if you're going to use any of this, use it on you first. Do away with thinking in terms of light, dark, good, bad. Just think me. Because it works best on you and then let that reflect out to everything else. And then you've, you've already got it. You just got to get the hang of it. Alright. <laughs> well, we're getting on to the 30 minute mark. And I have to say that I, I'm glad I went two videos and this video turned out better way better than I expected. So, this is going to wrap up the, 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 the two-part series. I'm going to leave it at two parts. Could have went three parts like my last one, but I think I, I think I covered a lot more ground in this video than I did in the last one. But, yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click the like button. Favorite it if you would like. And uh, if you would like to come back and get more information, or you just like the sound of my voice, go ahead and hit the subscribe. But until next time, hang in there.